Hey everyone, this is Vicki from Messy Table Studio here with a very uh, quick video. Let me put this over here so it's not so shiny. Sorry, I have to have the light on so I can see. Um, I've been taking a class and we had some cutouts. So they all looked pretty much like, th not like that, but like this. They had, you know, ribbony type looking stuff on them. And out of that one ribbon one that was left over, I doodled this while I was watching um, a live video. So I thought I would come on here and play some music and doodle my cards. Uh, and you guys can watch. I have another video. Ugh, sorry. This block thing's heavy. I have another video that I'm going to do soon about the uh, the class that I'm taking so you guys can see what we made. I'm sorry, I have to move this. This is one of those um, heavy blocks for jewelry making, and I put it on top of some tags to make sure they stayed smack flat. I'm going to get that out of the way. Okay, do. So I just got done with this one during the video. And I'm not sure if I'm going to do both sides of these. I might, but when I put it down, I had no intentions of doing the back side. So now I've got all these little, I don't think you can see this, all these little black marks everywhere. But maybe I can doodle over those. I think I might want to do both sides of this and uh, make a little book out of this. You know, everything's a book, right? Okay, let me start doodling and I will show show you guys all the finished stuff at the end. Oh, let me just add this. The reason I'm doing music and not talking through the doodling is because I am watching uh, YouTube. <laughs> so that's why. Just thought you'd want to know.
Okay, so I'm here to wrap up the video where I finished all the cards. And I, I'm not sure in the previous cuts if I showed them all. So here is one. This is two. This is three. And this is four. Now these are all off cuts from a project for the five day accordion book challenge. So these were leftovers and I, they're the parts that I cut out of the spinning one where you had to cut out the inside. And for some reason I didn't use these. I don't know what I was thinking, but I didn't use them. Or maybe, no, I don't know. I can't remember anyway. So then that's one side. This is side A, side B, B, and B. So I did both sides. Well, I can't put them in a book like this because if I put glue them down or anything, you, you know, it's not going to work. So I listened to my wise, crafty uh, sisters, not brethren, sisters, and they're is a print thing called a printer and that printer does scanning and the scanning puts it into the computer and then you can print it off so that you can see all eight of your lovelies at once so there they are those are all the things that I doodled while you guys were listening to music and I was listening to a lawyer commentator <laughs> on YouTube so I, I wanted to show you that you know, just because you mess something up and you have leftovers doesn't mean that you should let the paper go to waste. I mean, this is watercolor paper and I used uh, this one, the, nope, that's the wrong pen. This is the uh, Uniball Air Pen that my friend Debbie Cork from the UK recommended and I have fallen in love with the silly pen. And um, in a chat that I was in, the person asked if they were water, waterproof and another one answered yes once they dry and I can confirm that. So these are all dry and yeah, you can spit on it with your finger and rake it across and it yeah, still clean. Okay, that was kind of gross, sorry. <laughs> it was quick, it was accessible. So there they are, there's all the doodles that I did while I was listening to uh, TV. And this is often what I do is I will do this kind of stuff while I'm watching TV and I put it in a book. But these cannot be put in a book. I can use them for tags um, and I can put them in a tag book. But then you're going to miss one side of them. So I have to decide what to do with these. So what I do is I just set them aside until I can figure out what to do with them. I did see something in a book club, that the Handmade Book Club I belong to, where they did single side kind of uh, Coptic book. I can't remember what stitch she called it, but um, I'm looking into this to see if I can stitch these together. And I would really like it if I could because I don't want to miss either side of these. So there's all four cards on side A and side B. So thank you for watching, everybody, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Okay, so the video ended and I forgot once I did the footage that I set these aside and I did not use them, nor did I go and find a method to sew them into a book together. So instead, I took the paper copies that I ran off of the scanner and I glued the paper copies into the book, not the original. So these are all the paper copies on... Um, I think this is a I think this is watercolor on cardstock or something and I made an accordion book so there's there's the A side and then there's the B side because I did not have time to look for sewing these things together I just ran out of time and I decided I didn't want anything to happen to them so I still have the originals but these are the ones that were on the scanner and I had an extra piece of uh, paper, let's see, what is it? It's some kind of a print, jelly print, that was photocopied. And I said on here it was created on 8-1. So I forgot I had this footage, All right? So I just made the belly band for it with a doodle heart and slid it on there. And it's not the kind of book I actually wanted, but 
for now this will do if I learn how to do the stitch where you can do single sheets in a book like a Coptic type um, stitch where you just do single sheets I will go back and sew the originals in there but for now this is what I have so I hope you guys enjoyed seeing all the doodles from the off cuts uh, hang on a second let me get the book If you guys remember, I did the five day accordion challenge, which I mentioned in the video. And one of this is from, these are the, the cuts from the inside here. I don't know why I didn't make them smaller and just use those instead of using this. But this is the, um, the book where you can set it upright and then you flip these around. Let's see, you flip them around so they move around with air. There's the first one. Mine did not go, whoops. Mine did not go as well as I had hoped, but you know, it's it was cute. It was a great plan, just not executed well. <laughs> so wait, here's the back side. There we go. And then there's this one and it's hard. Oh, here he goes. Oh, geez, rocket scientist. Um, here's the side, the doodle side. And then here is the painted side. And then this one, there's the doodle side. And it scrapes on there. It's not cut straight across. And I am not taking it out to redo it. And there is the, um, the painty side. So there's the um, spinner accordion book. And then if you turn it to the back side, you should see like all of one and all the other. And this was made on 72822. So that's what these inserts came from. I cut them out and saved them. And I thought, well, I hate to waste that paper. I mean, that's good, that's good watercolor paper. So I doodled on it. And when I did it, I don't know what I was thinking. I doodled on both sides. And then I was like, uh-oh, can't put this in a book because it'll cover up one side of it. And I didn't spend all that time doodling them just to cover them up by gluing them into a book. So I decided the accordion with photocopies was the best way to solve my problem. I still have, like I said, I still have the originals and I want to sew them together, but for now this is what I've got. So thank you for watching everybody. I wanted to let you know that I did finish the project, just not the way I thought I would. <laughs> All right guys, be on the lookout for new videos shortly. Thank you. Bye.